Now, we are supportive of the Keystone XL pipeline, and we're glad that the Premier is encouraging the Americans to approve the project, but we are not supportive of a shocking, disruptive, and unilateral approach to changing the structure of the current carbon tax regime in Alberta. The government has been musing about raising the $15 a tonne charge for carbon to a job-killing $40. It's a transparent attempt to try to convince oil sands opponents that Alberta is green, but its actual effect is to create uncertainty. Why doesn't the government see that? Uh, Speaker, the only person uh, that's talking about shocking disruption uh, to the industry is the member across the aisle. Mr. Speaker, uh, if the member across the aisle uh, would not engage in public uh, discourse uh, questioning science of today, our Premier wouldn't have to be in Washington, D.C. right now trying to convince that the product, that the product uh, needs to be uh, delivered there. Mr. Speaker, I would strongly suggest that the, speaker that the member focuses on facts and looks at the statements made by the Premier and the Minister and not muse about increasing taxes because on this side we're not doing that. The most recent job numbers show a decline in the number of jobs in Alberta, more than 11,000 lost jobs in March alone. The contraction suggests that the economy is not creating these jobs because of uncertainty about the future. Will the Deputy Premier create some certainty and commit that he will not be increasing the $15 tax to $40? Speaker, uh, the member should know, uh, and if she doesn't, she now will, that majority of the job losses occurred in the hospitality industry, and that is a natural reaction to what happens uh, when you have a slowdown in economic development, Mr. Speaker. That is why our Premier is in Washington right now. That is why we're working with the Premier of New Brunswick. That is why we're working with the Premier of Quebec. That is why we're working with the Premiers and Government of British Columbia to get this product to the coast and not to perpetuate the fear-mongering both on science and now some new taxes that I know not of. I'm sure the Deputy Premier knows the Voyager project isn't in the hospitality field. Here, here. Business craves stability, certainty, consistency, but with this government they get the opposite. A few years ago it was the oil royalty mess, a few weeks ago the return to debt and deficit financing, and now the specter of another broken promise with a threatened tax increase on the energy sector. Why are they to, trying to destroy the Alberta advantage? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, uh, I think this government is very much of a view that it actually would be impossible to destroy the Alberta advantage that we have in this province. We have exceptional strengths. We have, we have uh, the greatest certainty that we could create for industry in this province is to ensure that we have access to Tidewater so that we can sell our products, and that is what this government is absolutely dedicated to.